Lesson 3.9, Problem Solving Numbers to 9. In this lesson, we solve problems by drawing a picture, and we represent numbers with rows of counters. Here we have Tala, and here we have Sam. Tala has six strawberries on her plate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sam's plate has a number of strawberries one greater than Tala's. How many strawberries are on Sam's plate? Well, we can draw a quick picture using a circle for each strawberry. She has six. We draw a matching number. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need one more because he has one greater than six. We draw one more circle for a strawberry. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven strawberries. Six and one more is seven. Here we have Bill and here we have Emma. Bill ate nine cookies. Emma ate a number of cookies, three less than nine. So how many cookies did Emma eat? We can make circles for cookies. Bill ate nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine cookies. We can write the number nine. And Emma ate a number of cookies, three less than nine. We can draw a matching number of cookies, nine. That's nine. We have a five and a four. And if she ate three less, we can cross off three. One, two, three. Now we can count how many are left over. We have a row of five and one more. That's six. Emma ate six cookies. So we can use a quick picture to help us solve the problem. We can draw something quick like a line or a circle to represent the object. And if we're taking some away, we can cross off the number less or fewer. And when we draw a number that is greater than another number, we draw more counters or more circles. So we draw a number less than, we draw fewer circles. Or we can draw the matching number and cross off the number fewer. Bill ate nine cookies, Emma ate six cookies. Here's Meg and here's Lou. Meg has five crayons. Lou has a number of crayons less than five. How many crayons does Lou have? Well, we can just draw lines for crayons. Meg has five. We can draw one, two, three, four, five. We can write the number five. She has five crayons. Lou has a number of crayons less than five. And we need to find how many crayons he has. It doesn't tell us how many less. That means he could have zero crayons, because that's less than five. He could have one crayon, that's less than five. He could even have two crayons, crayons, that's less than five. Or three or four. Any of those numbers are less than five. In counting order, we have one, two, three, four, then five. All of these numbers are less than five because they come before five in counting order. And zero is less than five. So we could use any one of these answers for this problem. We could say that he has four crayons and we can draw 
four lines for the four crayons, and we can write four. But any of those numbers that come before five in counting order would be a correct answer. Now listen to this problem carefully. There are eight apples. Five apples are red, the rest are green. How many are green? We can solve this problem with a quick picture. It says there are eight apples and that five apples are red. We can make five red circles, two, three, four, five, to be the five red apples. And it says the rest are green. We have five red, How many more apples do we need to make eight? We have five. We can use a green crayon to make green circles. We have five, six, seven, eight. We needed three more circles to make eight circles. Each circle is an apple. That means there must be three green apples. We can write three. We can make an eight with five and three. Is the number of red apples less than, greater than, or the same number of green apples? Well, the red ones we have five and the green ones we have three. The red ones, I see two more here than three and more means greater, and five comes after three in counting order, so the number of red apples is greater than the number of green apples. Now listen carefully to this problem. Jim's family has five people. Lou's family has the same number as Jim's family. How many people are in Lou's family? Well, we can draw counters for Jim's family, there's five people. One, two, three, four, five. And we heard that Lou's family has the same number as Jim's family. We can draw five counters. One, two, three, four, five. And we can match this one to this one, 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 and this one to this one, and we see we have the same number of counters for Jim's family as we do for Lou's family. So how many people are in Lou's family? It's the same number. It must be five. When we can match the counters from this set to the counters in this set without any left over, we know it's the same number. So remember, we can use lines or circles as counters for quick drawings to solve problems. And when we draw a number greater than a number, another number, we're going to draw more counters. And when we draw a number less than, we can draw fewer counters. We're finished with Chapter 3. We're going to be moving on to Chapter 4. We're going to learn to represent and compare numbers to 10. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.